Hi there, you've been asking me about Lost PLA Casting. Maybe we should try it today. So this is my mold. A couple things you might notice, this is not PLA, this is foam. Uh, there's some PLA stuff in there, uh, and there's also some wax and some foam. So this is Lost PLA Foam and Wax Casting. Never done this before, so why did I use all three? Well, more variables generally makes it more difficult, and I've never been one to uh, do the smart thing. So we're going to try it this way. What I'm going to do is burn this out. This has been set for a, quite a while. I'm going to burn this out, and then we're going to try casting it in aluminum. There's supposed to be a cup in there, a mug. So not too exciting, but hey, I had the print laying around. I will put a link to the print in the description below. Uh, I didn't take a picture of me preparing this or pouring this, uh, but I will say be careful of plaster of Paris. It's more dangerous than you might think. You know, we're going to find out together whether or not this works at all. So before too much yakety yak, let's fire up the burner. Okay, here we got everything set up. Here's how I'm going to do it. This is the plaster mold. I need to burn that out. I'm going to use this nasty crucible that I'm going to retire because I do not trust it anymore. It's looking really, really gross and cracked. I'm going to set that in there. I'm going to set this on here. Set this on top upside down and the heat from this on low will melt out everything inside and it will drip down into that crucible. I will then discard the crap from the crucible. This will be hollow and ready to go. That will also give this a nice final bake, although it has been sitting for quite a while, more than a day, so we'll see how it works. Alrighty, that's going on low. Nice and low, the top is off. Now I'll set this here, and the foam will melt out. At least that's a hope. I might have to crank it a little bit. So anyway, while that's burning out, I want to clarify something. I said plaster is dangerous. And yes, it is true. It is dangerous. And if I'm saying it's dangerous, I uh, might want to be careful. What you should not do, definitely should not do this, go and Google Plaster of Paris and Burns or something like that. See, Plaster of Paris, uh, it's not just some powder that dries and then you have a shape. There's like a reaction and it heats up a lot. So uh, there are people who have tried casting their hands in a plaster mold and they stuck their hands in and then the plaster solidified, sticking their hands in, heated up and burned them and they've lost fingers and stuff. So uh, yeah, you don't want to mess around with it. Sometimes the dangerous stuff is dangerous, but the stuff that you don't know is dangerous is more dangerous. Because if you have fire and a welder and sparks and blood and mayhem, you tend to be more careful. When you have white powder that you pour water into and then it sets, you're not going to be careful, but you should be careful. You should be just as careful. Uh, so uh, yeah, be very careful. And I'm really happy I didn't record me setting that thing in plaster. Well, maybe I'm not happy because it did not go well. went very, very poorly. Uh, so I really don't know what I'm going to discover in this mold, to be honest. It'll probably help if I get the right wax. Yeah, it turns out there's a right wax and a wrong wax, and I definitely chose the wrong wax. Okay, that's been going for quite a while. It is deforming the grate, and uh, it's starting to get real, real toasty. So I think we're going to switch over to melting the aluminum. Oh uh, yeah, I can see through where the mold would have been. That's probably mighty hot. Get that out of there. Oh yeah, that's roasty too. Let's get this one in. Oh, the heat coming off it is just crazy. I even had it sit really low. Not enough to light it again though. Alright, back in business. No, it's hard to see, but there was foam and plastic in there. Now I see mostly plaster, although there is some plastic still around on the rim on the inside. wonder if that means I hadn't done this enough, but we'll find out. Or I can just do this. There, double purpose. Most of the bulk of it's gone. I just want it to burn out cleanly. All right, I'm calling it. The aluminum inside the crucible is melting. Just want to sit that here. Time to start feeding in the metal. Okay, I think my last bit of aluminum is through the hole. Just want to let it uh, get heated up a bit. Oh, oh dear. I want to get that liquid heated up a bit and then we will clean up and pour. Got my flux here. 
This is going to be pretty toasty. Probably should get a long sleeve shirt. There we go. Long sleeve cotton shirt. Doesn't really protect me from much, but it does make me feel better. Add in my light salt flux. Oh dear, light salt uh, burns. It burns, people. I'm leaving the burner on in an effort to keep this thing up to pouring temperature. So I don't want it to get too cold pouring into the mold. All right, that's probably good. Let's see, okay. Let's get it out of there. All right, and I'm pouring it over this because if I spill or leak, I do not want the stuff on the concrete. Here we go. Oh, that's not, uh, that's not really going in there. It's bubbling. Oh no, pour it over. Alrighty. I'm thinking this one's gonna be a failure. That's not looking real good. Yep, that's not looking good. Might as well just pour the ingots and call it a day. Alrighty then. You know what really smells bad? That. That smells bad. That's one way to do it. All right, well, since that's still smoking, uh, I'm gonna leave it because um, metal inside a plaster, plaster is pretty good at insulator, so that's probably gonna stay much hotter for much longer. So I'm gonna leave it sit for like many hours and then I'll pop it open and see what kind of nightmare lies within. All right, water bucket at the ready. Time to pop this in, see what happens. It, it doesn't float. Hang on. Better remove that wedding ring. Also this thing. All right, how, how does one remove plaster from a thing? Ouch. Aluminum sharp, people. New plan. Hammers. Hammers always a good plan. All right, people, place your bets. Whoops. Oh. I bet uh, complete failure. That's my bet. I got 10 bucks on complete failure. Yep, I'm seeing some failure. I see I did not have complete burnout. Yep, failure. You are seeing the cup. Gross. I got the base of a cup and I got a 3D printed cup, severely warped from all the heat. But I did not get a cup made of aluminum. Okay, time to try to figure out what happened. This cup gets very thin right around the transition from the base to the wall. I bet ya. That's the problem. I bet you the uh, plastic inside did not get hot enough to melt out and the aluminum uh, solidified in that thin space before it could run through and burn out the rest of the plastic. So I still have a 3D printed cup, people. Look at that. But that, that did not work. I'm full of failure lately, aren't I? Well, in situations like this, look for the learning. You know, a failure is only a failure if you didn't actually learn anything from it. Uh, wow, that's quite a, that's crumbly. Sorry to disappoint you, but there is my 3D printed cup. I don't think I can drink from it. Although, ooh, I kind of like the stem. It's like a stemmed coffee mug. Fancy, if only it wasn't broken. Now I think I, I, I want to make one of these, but, but not bad. 